Welcome friends to Buy with Pritham. The present situation, that is COVID situation, says a good health is best wealth. So today we will discuss a small topic that is human health and disease. The introduction part, the father of modern physiology, that is William Harvey, discovered blood circulation in body. After discovering this, he demonstrated normal, normal body temperature hypothesis of health. After that, the biology states that mind influence our immune system through neural and endocrine system. Before studying human health and disease, we need to study some important keywords. The first one is genetic disorder. Genetic disorder is a deficiency or defect which the child carries from parent by birth. Second one is infection. Infection is a disease which a person gets from his or he, her surrounding. Lifestyle, it including a food and water we take, rest and exercise we give to our body and habits that we possess or lack in our life. According to WHO, that is World Health Organization in 1948 defined health as health is not just absence of disease or physical fitness but it is a state of complete physical, mental, social and spiritual well-being. For maintaining good health, one need to follow some important steps. The first one is balanced diet. Balanced diet is a diet of having controlled amount of food which contains required amount of proteins, vitamins, energy to body. The second one is personal hygiene. Personal hygiene is the proper disposal of waste and controlling of vectors such as mosquito and maintaining of hygiene, water and food. Regularly exercise. For example, yoga. Yoga keeps a body physically and mentally healthy. Awareness. Awareness of disease. When the functioning of one or more organ or a system of the body is adversely affected, it results a disease. So, the disease can be defined as any sort of deviation in our health or any condition that interferes with normal health is called disease. There are three types of disease. The first one is infectious or communicable disease. The disease which transmitted from one person to another is known as infectious disease. The second one, the for example, viral disease, bacterial disease. The second one is non-infectious or non-communicable disease. These diseases remain confined to a person. That is, these diseases are not transferred from one person to another. Third one is genetic disorder. As before we studied, the genetic disorder is a born disorder due to the chromosomal aberration. For example, sickle cell anemia. The disease can be caused by various factors or agents. These are known as pathogens. The pathogens can enter our body by various means like mouth, nose, ears, etc. And these multiply in our body and interfere with the normal function resulting in the morphological and functional damage. The pathogen shows some adaptation to adjust with host environment, for example endoparasite. Endoparasite usually lives in the stomach or guts. The stomach or gut of host organism contains some important enzyme and some important acid which destroys the pathogen. But these endoparasites have adjusted to the host environment. Please like, share and subscribe to my channel to get notified. Now we will discuss some common bacterial disease of human. The first one is typhoid. The typhoid is commonly called as enteric fever which causes damage to intestinal mucus. The causative agent of this disease is Salmonella typhi which is negative bacteria. The mode of transmission of typhoid is by present in stool or may be present in urine. Therefore, it is carried by water or contaminated food. The incubation period required for Salmonella typhi bacteria is 1 to 3 weeks. The symptoms of typhoid disease The primary symptoms are headache, sore throat, abdominal pain, high fever and weakness and even loss of appetite. In severe cases, intestinal perforation and even death may occur. 
The diagnosis of typhoid is done by viral test. Treatment for the typhoid is, treat, is treated with antibiotics that is teramycin and chloramycetin. The first image is Salmonella typhi, the causative bacteria and the second image shows some rashes on the body and ulcers in the intestine, the symptoms of typhoid disease. The second for this, uh, the second disease is pneumonia. Pneumonia is known, is known as inflammation of lungs. Inflammation of lungs is known as the presence of liquid or pus in the air sac of lungs. The causative agent of pneumonia are Streptococcus pneumoniae, Diplococcus pneumonia and Hemophilus influenza. The mode of transmission is inhaling droplets or aerosol released by the infected person. The incubation period required for the pneumonia is about 1 to 3 days. The symptoms are fever, chill, cough, headache and some mucus and some lymph strats accumulating in lungs which cause a problem in respiration. In severe cases, the lips and fingernail turn to grey or bluish in color. If we not treated the person, he can be fatal, that is he may die due to the pneumonia. The treatment for pneumonia is use of antibiotics like penicillin, flucozalazine. The first image shows the formation of pus or liquid in the lungs and the second image clearly shows the normal air sac and the inflamed air sac which is filled by fluid. Thank you. In our next video, we will continue the same topic that is common viral disease and some protozoan disease.